In this video, we will take a look at the pen tool in the graphic editor in Fernhill SCADA. The pen tool allows you to create freeform lines and shapes. We start by connecting the configuration tool to a Fernhill SCADA server. In this case, we click the localhost entry to connect to the SCADA server running on the local computer. Then we create a new graphic page to work with. Right clicking the root folder, select add new tag, followed by core, followed by graphic. Press return to accept the default name of graphic. The next step is to open the graphic editor and select the pen tool. Double click the graphic tag we created in the previous step. This will open the graphic editor. Click the pen tool in the editor toolbar. Move the mouse pointer to the drawing canvas. The mouse cursor changes to a pen shape. The asterisk next to the pen cursor shows you the next click will start a new shape. To use the pen tool to draw a set of line segments, we click to define the first point. We move the mouse and click again to define the second point and then repeat this to define the third and fourth points. To complete a set of line segments, press the control key down and click with the mouse. The pen cursor now shows an asterisk indicating the next click will start a new set of line segments. You can use the pen tool to draw a closed and filled shape, for example a valve symbol. We click to define the first point. We move down and click again to define the second point. We move across and up to define the third point. We move down again to define the fourth point. And as we move back to the start point, the circle next to the cursor shows you the next click will close the shape. When we click the start point, the shape is closed. If you press the mouse button down and drag instead of clicking, you can use the pen tool to draw curved lines. As an example, let's click to define a starting point. And for the second point, we press the mouse button down and drag. Notice how moving the cursor defines the shape of the curve. If you want to accurately place curves, press the shift key down. This locks the handles to a position on the compass. When we're happy with the shape of the curve, we release the mouse button to complete the second point. And finally, we can click to define the third point. Using the curve capability of the pen tool, we can draw a tank shape with a curved top using six mouse clicks. The first click starts the base, the second click defines the left edge. We click and drag to define the curved top. The fourth click starts the right edge. The fifth click completes the right edge. And the final sixth click closes the shape. That is all for this video. For more information, don't forget to press F1 to open the help and take a look at the documentation for the pen tool.